Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I want to show you one of the trick which I've learned recently uh, to make my base really flawless and something which can stay on your face for the whole long day. And by the way, before we get into this technique, I really want you guys to focus on my hair. I recently got the highlighters in my hair and I absolutely love it. I was actually quite bored with my, uh, you know, typical black hair and I really wanted something to uh, get it changed. I have got some highlights in the past also but I was not very happy with that kind of color so I just got my global color done you know immediately after two months or three months something like that but this time I like the way you know it looks very goldenish and at the same time it has a very nice brown chocolatey color and it is the perfect color for the fall time in my opinion this is something I was actually looking forward to have it on my hair so yes let me know in the comment section what do you think about my new hair color okay so enough with my um, hair talks let's get into this video so I want to share it across with you guys and want to show half of half face application using this new technique and half of the face I want to show you how we do it you know traditional way of applying foundation yes and my phone is ringing non-stop okay so yeah uh, and I absolutely love this particular technique I have tried it before shooting this video and I absolutely love the kind of results it gave me and this is just one step change in the entire foundation process but that one step actually changed everything for me and I don't think there is a look back for me from today onwards I'm just gonna uh, you know I'm just gonna stick with this particular technique for uh, for a good time until I find something else which is better than this one <laughs> yeah so if you want to know what kind of tip I'm just posting till now then you just keep on watching so the step number one is to moisturize your skin very well even before applying your primer because that will help in keeping the glow of the skin intact so you can use any kind of cream any kind of moisturizer which you use on a daily basis i'm using this votre uh, you know hydrating moisturizer so this part of the face will be doing uh, using the new technique uh, just some you know some tips here and there and this part of the face will be doing the regular technique which we have been using ever since yeah and also this is the winter time this is the must have step in your uh, makeup routine to moisturize your, moisturize your skin very well next step which comes after this is to uh, Prime your face. You can use any kind of uh, primer which has a little, you know, silicone finish. Uh, I'm using this. I really like this particular primer. This is the Matte Perfect Primer. so there's nothing new till now i have shown you in this video but the next thing which comes is the step which is actually a game changer so next step is to use your compact before your foundation we generally apply the foundation on top of the primer and then we set the foundation and the concealer and everything else uh, using the compact or any kind of translucent powder uh, but the trick is you should use it before applying your foundation yes you got me right you can take any kind of translucent powder be it a transparent one or you can take any one which is ha which has a little you know tint. so that can give you a little better coverage also so i've decided to use this lacme rose powder i just love it so i'm dipping my brush into this and i'm going that happens with me all the time okay and we'll do only for this uh, part of the face not for this and just start you know so what it has done is it has locked the moisturizer as well as the primer uh, in the face so your makeup is going to be intact for rest of the day even if you use any kind of medium you know medium coverage foundation as well this step will give you extra coverage and also it will help to make your foundation your primer your moisturizer everything to be on your face or an even longer time so this is the technique 
which is the game changer actually. Now the next step is to take your foundation and go it on your face. Let it go on your face. Uh, I'm using this Revlon Naked, Nearly Naked. It's a great foundation. What I'm noticing when applying my foundation, this side, the application goes a little smoother and also uh, it does not feel it, it, you know, even a bit of oily also when I'm applying it at this part of it. But if you look at this part, you can see a kind of, you know, glow or you can say a little, you know, um, oiliness i would not say it's an oil but that kind of finish you know what i mean yeah but on this one it's like really mad so that's what i really like about this particular technique so it's a great tip even if uh, you are going for any wedding or for a full day kind of function and you don't want any retouch ups and also you want your makeup to be stay intact for the whole day then this is the kind of technique you can go with you know you can go with so yeah the foundation is done and i really like this part uh, rather than this one because this part of the face feels you know this part of the makeup feels more synced up into my skin in comparison to this one and also uh, this feels little smoother than this and there is not even a hint of any kind of shine or any kind of you know the glossiness on the face uh, at this part comparative to this part even if I think you can see it in the camera also somewhere you can see the shine and uh, you know here it's not that much and also these are the parts which you need to fix up with the powder anyways later on so the next step is optional optional for the dry skin people if you have a very dry skin and also you are in the winter time and you don't want it to look even more dry you can completely skip this particular step which is like setting your t-zones and some part of your face which actually gets oily over the time but if you are somebody who has a combination to the oily skin and you can you know live up with this one then what you have to do is you have to take your brush again some powder on top of it and just fix it over the part of your face which actually gets little oily you know after three hours or four hours so for me this these are the parts like somewhere there and also my uh, this thing my cheek bones tend to get you know a little shiny over the time so I like to fix these parts now For this one, since you have not applied any kind of compact till now, you can go ahead and set your powder. Now it's time to go for the blusher and also I would tell you the blusher application or your contouring will be a little different on this part of the face rather than this one. You can take any blusher of your choice and since this part of the face is really matte and if the surface is really smooth for you so it's really easy to go uh, with another makeup on top of this flat really nice and smooth surface the motion of the brush gets really uh, smooth and it's not tugging anywhere in between at this part of the face in comparison to this one. So that's the reason I just love how my blusher is also, my brush is going so smooth and I don't have to struggle with taking the color back and again and then just, you know, going forward like this. So it's, it's really great. But here, as you can see, the brush actually gets little, you know, if I go like this, it's really good. But if I want to start moving my brush like this, this application is much smoother at this part rather than this one. So my blusher is done and I just absolutely love how flawless and how natural it looks at this part of my face. And also the application went really smooth. I just love this kind of technique. 
you can do your contouring you can go ahead with your highlighter with your bronzer you can do whatever you want it's just that the basics should be correct and absolute perfect yeah this is the technique which i have learned recently and i have been absolutely digging this particular method of applying my foundation i feel this has actually changed the way i used to apply my foundation it looks more flawless it looks more durable to me and also it makes me uh, you know it saves me from uh, doing any kind of retouch ups that frequent that often and also if I don't have that kind of oily skin I have somewhere to combination to the dry skin then I'm really good to go for the whole day without you know worrying about the makeup is creasing it's 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 you know it's flowing everywhere let's you know rush to the ladies room and fix it up of any that kind of jazz who has the time for all this right <laughs> So yeah, so guys, that was one of the technique which I have learned and I really, really wanted to share a course with you guys. So guys, please let me know in the comment section how you liked it and also give this kind of technique a try at home and then also let me know what you feel about this kind of technique. Do you think it actually changed the makeup game for you or you think this is not something, uh, you know, we really look forward to try, you know, something like that. And also, don't forget to give this video a big 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 thumbs up also subscribe to my channel so that you are always updated whenever a new video is coming on your way on that note i take a leave now and i shall see you soon in my next video till then you guys take care and bye bye